so we have an extremely challenging case. First of all, um, I'd like to wish everybody a happy new year. We're very excited. Uh, we, we've started a couple of new initiatives this year uh, with, our, with our program, and one of them is going to be able to, for us to have a guest moderator and also to have one of our surgical colleagues uh, in each one of our live cases. And uh, we're really honored today to have a good friend of ours, uh, Dr. Tamala from Miami, uh, you know, with his expertise in critical limb as well as in difficult cases such as this. And of course, we have a very good friend, Dr. Ajit Rao, who's been with us uh, for many cases in the past to, to, uh, to lend his opinion and also his thought process on how he would approach uh, these kind of very difficult cases. So to, to just want to introduce our team. To my left is our Ray Lascano, our nurse practitioner. To my right is Dr. Kapoor, Vishal Kapoor, uh, who is the director of Mount Sinai Morningside and then cardiology for the endovascular side. To his right is Dr. Osman ja uh, Jaffer. OJ is, uh, is one of our uh, endovascular fellows this year, along with Ibrahim. And, um, and then our, our nurses today are, are Mackie Mack, and we've got, uh, which is Mark, and then we've also got hmm? Jen, and we've got Damien, who's back from vacation. So we've got a great team with us. So without further ado, so I can introduce the case, I'm going to ask Dr. Um, uh, uh, Osman Jaffer to go ahead and present this case, uh, which has a lot of challenges. Yeah. Osman, yep. go ahead. Yes, it will go in the slides. Can you get the slides up, please? Slides up, guys. Yeah. Oh, give me a 1020. Yep. Yeah, That's fine. 1020. Let's see what the Great. So, um, yeah, this is a very tough case. This is Mrs. R. She's a 73 year old woman. She's a housekeeper. Uh, she has a history of CAD, type 2 diabetes, PAD. She had an aorta bifem bypass in 2013 after unsuccessful right common iliac intervention. Left subclavian stenosis with a stent in 2019, which is <laughs> since actually re -stenosed. We'll show that in a second here. Yeah. Crowded artery stenosis. She had a TIA and then a left CEA in 2015. Hypertension, hyperlipidemia, ex-smoker. And she basically presented to us... Uh, uh, a while back with uh, bilateral lower extremity, right greater than left claudication, walking about half a block. Unfortunately, she's just been extremely debilitated since then. Things have gotten worse. It's progressed to rest pain. She had a diagnostic study November 2022, and uh, uh, she was brought back today for intervention at that point. We were going to bring her back the following week. She had to go out of town. And so uh, she was sort of lost to follow up for a little bit. Her meds are clopidogrel, bisoprolol, atorvastatin, zetia, uh, jardians, and metformin. And her exam, she's got a Doppler AT pulse on the right side. So uh, ABIs are 0 0.4 bilaterally. Interestingly, you know, when we bought her initially for our angiogram, which I'll show the pictures of, uh, she's got the bypass graph. We got in there, got up, and had a very difficult time because of the bypass to get up and over. We thought about doing radial access for her. Unfortunately, her left, you know, she has terrible radial pulses, no pulse on the left with a occluded left radial and a, 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 a stenotic left subclavian stent. The right, uh, oh, sorry, oh, sorry. The, uh, the, the uh, right subclavian also with a peak systolic velocity of 440 uh, centimeters per second. This is her angiogram. So initially, uh, you know, we got access right uh, below the uh, bypass, got into the bypass. You can see uh, patent aorto bifem bypass right at the touchdown of the uh, bypass over there on the prior. You can see there's a heavily calcified common femoral lesion on the right side. The SFA uh, prox mid uh, re really looks okay. It's really the popliteal. You have multiple segments of short CTOs and really a one vessel runoff with an AT going all the way down to the foot uh, over here. So, you know, based on that, her symptoms have gotten to the point where, she, you know, she can't even work anymore. This lady's really debilitated and this is kind of a last resort for her. We wanted to bring her back here and, and give it a shot. Uh, to uh, really try to, to get that um, popliteal open and, and maybe even work on that CFA if, if possible with, uh, with possible shockwave uh, and DCB via pedal approach. Well, thank, thank you so much, uh, I mean, I really like This is one of those cases where, you know, we went through our thought process and uh, obviously 
Uh, I'm glad that the two of you are here to help us. I think she's gotten so symptomatic because of her multi-level disease. I mean, she has SFA disease. She has a very minimal profunda, as you saw. She has uh, no internal iliac, uh, you know, giving collaterals. Uh, she's got, uh, we'll show you today's pictures, Vishal will go over it. She's got progression of the disease compared to the angel that you saw four months ago. She was on maximum medical therapy, as you saw that. And, you know, this is a lady whose livelihood is truly affected. Uh, you know, so the one would have been, okay, let, let, we'll have uh, just some thought process from you guys on how you would have approached it. But I think the reason this is happening is because of the different levels of disease that she's having. And she, thank God she doesn't have an ulcer. And uh, so that, that's why we decided to bring her in for this complex intervention. So, so Ajit Srini, I mean, each one of you, how would you guys approach this lady? What, what are your thoughts on, on how you would do it? You know, I think this is a really tough case, like you said already. I mean, you've got a really acute angulation of that ABF, so getting up and over is very tough. I think if you can do imaging <clears> from <throat> above by, uh, you know, the arm, whether it's radial, brachial, et cetera, that's still going to be a challenge with the stents and some of the disease and the great vessels that you're dealing with. But I think if we can do imaging from above and then you're just going to have to do pedal access like you guys are talking about already. Question is, do you access that, you know, that single vessel runoff that I think I saw a single vessel? Uh, or do you try to access one of the occluded diseased arteries that's really not a good runoff vessel so that larger sheath and so yep. forth? Especially if you're going to treat that CFA, you're going to need at least a six front sheath. So yep. it's going to be. Ajit, what do you think? Yeah, yeah, I think this is a very challenging case, and I think it's interesting for, for multiple reasons. I think number one is just choosing the access site, right, because there's so many different options here, and each has its, like, pros and cons. Uh, but I agree with kind of a pedal approach here, because as we know, going up and over with an aorta bifem is, is very, very challenging. Uh, it's just that acute angulation of the graft, and uh, the last thing you want to do is, like, disrupt your anastomosis at the proximal end, too. So, uh, you know, we have steerable sheets and things like that, but it's still very challenging. So I agree with pedal access. And then um, as a surgeon, I guess the other things I always think about are surgery. But as we highlighted here, surgery is not a great option because she's already had that groin operated on. It's going to be extremely scarred in. It's going to be really hard to do an endarterectomy because sometimes you don't get that nice plane in a reoperative field. So I think an endovascular approach here is a, is a good option. Oh, you give high housing. Yeah. So, uh, Kart Karthik Raman, um, and actually before that, let Vishal go over the the yeah. angel that we I just took, so you guys idea. can see where we are. <clears throat> yeah. So we decided to go. I mean, like with the complexity, no left radial, no ulnar. There's a high grade stenosis at the left subclavian, so we really had like restricted uh, options to get the diagnostic <laughs> pictures which Srini was talking about the imaging. So we took an ultrasound guided access. The idea was here to keep the lumen size as low as possible. So we thought about doing just a four French access system to visualize our vessel. So we got an ultrasound guided access pretty much in the most proximal end of the SFA as much as we could. We did a roadmap just to confirm so we could wire into the um, the bypass graph, which is what our goal was. And here you can see, we did end up in the bypass graph. And then like how Usman had showed the pictures, you can see the outer iliac bypass all the way down. The bypass graft itself looks good, but as soon as just after the anastomosis, you see that very, tight lesion, almost like total subtotal lesion, we we'll call it with a lot of calcifications, which you can see on a non-DSA picture. Uh, and then we, of course, wanted to do a runoff to define the anatomy well. And here you can see right at the common femoral uh, where that very tight lesion is. The SFA uh, proximal and mid looks uh, decently well, just mild diffuse disease. But the real story starts essentially at the distal SFA popliteal segment where you can see the vessel essential, like multi-level disease. And this is where she's, I think, uh, she's gotten worse because of this. It's definitely progressed and now it's really occluded at the level of the pop, or maybe underfilled, we don't know. Yeah. Um, and then and then this was one vessel runoff. Correct. So now, Srini, we, we interrogated the posterior tibial, <coughs> very calcified, completely occluded. So we decided to go with just sheetless in, into the into the um, uh, AT. Uh, so we've got just a o and a trailblazer. Uh, we gave our nitro cocktail. This is our picture. So it's a diseased AT, but not not horrible. I mean, we can definitely deal with this. And I and you can see here that the PT is there, but very very small. So one of the thoughts is, what about going up and over? I mean, Ajit. I mean, obviously you're the vascular surgeon. Mm -hmm. If if we go up and over with a say a Simmons three catheter, get enough nose, bury our wire in the distal SFA track a, a steerable sheet up and over. I mean, what are the dangers to the graft for doing this? What can happen? I mean, is it things we need yeah. to worry about? Well, um, yeah, no, those are all 
Good points. <clears throat> uh, number one, uh, it's just very technically challenging. <clears throat> um, you know, I mean, maybe you're, you have better luck than I do, but every time I've tried, you know, my catheter just buckles out because of that acute angulation. I think steerable sheets have definitely helped us a lot with, like, cannulating viscerals and going up and over for these acute angulations, but it's still... Um, it's still not ideal, and you could still, um, in theory, if you push, um, <clears throat> you know, put too much force on the graft, you could disrupt your proximal anastomosis, which would be, you know, a huge aortic disruption and potentially life-threatening. So I don't think it's a great option if you have other choices. So, so Srini, this, uh, you know, I mean, I mean, you've done these cases. I know you wanted to go through the posterior tibial, which we could have. I guess we could have if we really wanted to try. Being um, uh, this case, we thought. We cross from below, and then we'll deal with it. I'm, I'm not certain whether this is going to be a major issue in terms of uh, putting a sheet in here, but obviously we're going to do some cocktails through the side port of the sheet while we cross. But we're not going to cross. We're not going to put a sheet until we actually physically cross this. So, um, in terms of crossing, Karthik uh, and uh, Raman, what do you guys think in your wires and stuff like that? The, uh, well, the before we go there, I just wanted to just the, the other option, which I don't think we've, fetal, right? yeah, obviously yeah. we're going down a fetal approach first here. But Dr. Gerson and, and Dr. Ra, have you guys thought about uh, also doing an anti-grade option um, to but treat the, the, the POP AT and then uh, and then afterwards go for an endarterectomy of the CFA? I think we are considering the, considering, the, considering that there's a single right. vessel runoff and if you have to put a six French sheath. I did mention the groin is inoperable. Oh. So. Like this for yeah. bypass, so for but not like to me. He said it's quiet and yeah, it'd be um no, that's a good point, but it'd be mm -hmm. uh, challenging just because it's a reoperative field. Uh, so sometimes you don't get a nice plane when you go back into a common femoral, and you can't really do an endarterectomy. And sometimes the tissue can be friable, and uh, you might have to replace it with graft. So it's certainly an option if we couldn't do endo, or if we get a suboptimal result, or something like that. But it's uh, I think in a reoperative field, <clears throat> an endo uh, approach is uh, is reasonable. The other thing also, uh, Raman, I think these are great points, and that's why we, we chose this case. Um, I think the other point is, you know, you could say, well, I'm going to fix the subclavian. Yeah. I'm going to come down through the arm. But then now you're talking about, she's not a very tall lady, but you're probably talking about suboptimal, you know, uh, you know, peripheral equipment for this kind of uh, case, right? So, you know, you, the question is, you know, I know the radial sheets are there, and you can, you can technically reach. But the issue is going to be is, you know, how does that how is that going to work for you to be able to get all the way down and do your thing? Right. Advance that a little bit. Right? Right, yeah, there we go. Let's see. I mean, if you don't if you don't have a problem putting a okay. five, six uh, slender into wow. this AT, um, I think it's uh, I think it's OK to go pedal. And I, 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 I agree, actually, with Srini. I would have probably taken Ooh, a posterior what, what, tibial what axis. This is a filler. Because oh. uh, even if you have to put a six fin sheet to deal, <laughs> the problem will be to Three. deal to deal with that That's CFA, right? What therapy? I, I know you want to do shockwave, but again, you need a six-fin sheet to do shockwave or any kind of atherectomy to do deal with that CFA. You need a six-fin sheet. Now that's where the problem comes. The question is, should we go from the arm and put a six-fin sheet and deal with the CFA separately, and uh, put a four-five like slender, like lower sheet and DCB this area of uh, popliteal and CFA because now you have over eight DCBs. So you have so, bilateral 50 to 99 percent subclavian. <coughs> Yeah, so, it, it's, it seems as though the subclavian would have to be dealt like with issue, independently. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So I think uh, I think what you're doing is pretty much what the, I think the only option left, I guess. Uh, so I think you, I, I would cross this again. I think we were talking about crossing. I would probably start with uh, a hydrophilic wire, and then I think clearly it's not going. I think you tried it; it's severely calcified. Then I would probably upgrade it to see if I can uh, start with the confines or something. Yeah, we're gonna switch to that. Yeah, but definitely right. an 018, uh, 014 wire. I would not try an 018 because I don't. I would probably not want to dissect this vessel. So, yeah, well, I think I think you're right. It might end up being a multi-stage procedure. Yeah. We might end up doing the distal yeah. segment yeah. first, which is usually not intuitive. They would want you to do the inflow, but Agreed. in this case, if we cross the CFA, but it looks very the way it looks. <clears throat> I'm sure Ajit will tell you it, like the calcification, the eccentricity, mm -hmm. and the way it's cut off essentially at the CFA. It won't be that easy to cross over rather than having a chronic. Now, yeah, so, cross. Yeah, I agree. Or the cross, CFA segment. Uh, yeah, cross or treat. I mean, thankfully we have shockwave now, so that I think has really yeah. helped with these calcified lesions. Um, because atherectomy, you know, sometimes it's really hard so, to debulk this so, amount of calcium. Ajit, the command is not going. Would you guys upgrade now to an 035 wire, or would you would stick with a 018 different 018 wire? Um, 
Yeah, no, I think I would try a couple times with like maybe a little, you know, a few different 0 and 4, 0 and 8 wires, mm -hmm. but then, Got yeah, you. I would have a lower threshold to upgrade because this yeah, just looks to like me, a... the way it's behaving, yeah. it's really yeah, uh, yeah, it's really big what rock, do you think, buddy. Big rock. Yeah, no, I think if you've already tried a fielder, a command 18, you may have to, you know, what upgrade. Do you want from Michael I just, I just need to now change out for a wire, a stronger wire to get the sheet in. Oh, this is an 0 8, right? Yeah, but there's a command. 0 and 8 command. This is really which one is it? Oh, oh, and four, oh, and four command. That's it. what I thought. Yeah. So get us an and I like command. Um, uh, original idea. It's too bad, you know, we couldn't do an end arterectomy and, and kind of convert this to a hybrid approach, right? That would have yeah. been ideal. That would have been yeah. an ideal yeah. situation. Yeah. Well, you know, yeah. you know, you know, you know, the last thing you want, and Ajit and I spoke a lot about this, is an infection. You know, yeah. and and I think that you know the uh, this lady uh, again, like I said, she's quite symptomatic, and uh, you know, I I just uh, I'm worried about the endotrectomy. Uh, just, I don't want any infection to occur. So I think that, you know, I just, I mean, I know it's worrisome. Believe me, we do very little pedal access. I think we've done one case last year with a sheath in the pedal. Mm -hmm. um, and, and, and that was a live case or so two years ago. Uh, generally, now o and command in here. Mm -hmm. Generally, we do not put uh, sheets in the leg. I mean, I just knows this. Yeah. And we will yeah. if we yeah. have to in these kind of cases. Mm -hmm. So I think this is one of those where, uh, you know, you know, I think we're going to be fine. I really do. I, I yeah. just think we're, we're going to add a cocktail through the uh, side port of the sheet. Uh, I'm going to upgrade here to a, uh, a, a five, six slender. I'm going to put the, um, the Tarumo Navicross in, cross it. And then, yeah, more, yeah, oh, I'm sorry. And then I agree, PK. I think the AT is pretty reasonable in go. size. I, I don't think a five, no, six slender is not going to make a big difference to that AT. I mean, it may, I mean, I mean, it's always a worry, right? So, yeah. You yeah, know, but, uh, the it's a pretty big AT, can so. be, yeah, five, it's a good size. It can be placed on an 0 and 8 wire, so we're going with an 0 and 8 command here, right? Yeah. So good, good, good strength wire. So I mean, yeah, we'll this, do it. this one one point to keep in in mind, you know, about accessing this pedal vessel. You know, her left radial is occluded. So uh, OJ, I'm sure you've reviewed her case quite thoroughly. I'm assuming at some point she's had left radial access that resulted in her left radial being occluded for some coronary intervention. Yeah, they were all done outside. The the coronaries were done outside, but I, I imagine so. That's that's probably yeah. why. Yeah. So it is. So she definitely has some degree of uh, you know Vascular. inability to tolerate yeah. uh, distal access. You know, it's not very often we see people who have just from a radial access for a coronary angiogram or any kind of uh, procedure to have the vessel become <laughs> occluded. Um, so I think, you know, it, this is not something that we would obviously advise for people to try on their first case <laughs> as a single, that, agree with that. single vessel uh, yeah. runoff to access with the 5.6 cylinder. Uh, but this is, you know, this is when you've had the experience that, that, we, that Dr. Krishna well, and Dr. Well, Kapoor and everybody I, has. I, no, but I don't even think it's experience. I think it's the discussion, right? Yeah, like, just, but, you know, it would be bad if, if something where, you know, cardiologist got this access or radiologist got this access, got into trouble and then called the vascular surgeon to say, hey, can you please help us? I mean, the bottom line is oh, yeah, God, yeah, you, you want to be able to, you know, have a discussion. If I just mm -hmm. felt this was safe to do with an endotrectomy, we would have sent it. I mean, we've got a relationship like that here in Sinai where there's no issue with, with all that. We will send it. We will not worry about it because there's plenty of cases for everyone, and I don't think we ever fought over cases. So I think that this is just something where we feel it's safe, um, and, you know, I think I just think that this poor lady, you know, is is is, a, is, is the main breadwinner yeah. from her family. PK, a question. PK, a question. Yeah, but, we, we didn't cross across the graft, right? We didn't come across the graft with the catheter. Like up and over? Up yeah. and over? No. No. We didn't. Okay. Uh, okay so we are, we are, are we a, able to fill the distal navigator? vessel at all? Or? Yeah, well, you saw the angiogram. Yeah, uh, right. it, was, it was very poorly filled, yeah. Hmm. So so I think okay. right now we're just going to go with a Navicross. We need to cross this. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, 035. Oh, I'm saying oh, just oh. to define it better, like what's happening in that area, like how uh, how is occlusion behaving? So just so that we can have a roadmap. Which which occlusion are you talking about? No, I'm the, talking about the pop and the distal SFA. Yeah, well, yeah we, we, have we, yeah, we have a picture. Let me show you. We have a picture. We have a few pictures right here. Yeah. Hold on. So let me cross this, yeah. you know, with, with everybody's help, <clears throat> and then we'll we'll talk about how we're going to treat it. So now we have a a um a a, a, a what is it called? O O five five six slender in. We're going to add a, a nitro drip to the sheath, Ray. Yeah. Nitro drip to the sheath, just to keep it there. And you and then we, what we're going to do is cross from below. And God willing, uh, you know everything goes smooth. So yeah. I'm gonna. So Ray's gonna hook up the nitro drip while we, mm. me and me and um, um, Vishal just advance this up through this. No resistance, <laughs> no nothing, going super smooth. That's the collateral. That's the yeah. 
that's the uh, re reconstitution of the vessel. Now we're just going to pull, try to work with this, Michelle. Yeah. Let me try to do a little blunt dissection here with this. No, no, no. no, no. So I think the other important thing is, you know, what you're uh -huh. treating. You know, here she, we're mainly treating uh, like a clotted patient, right? Yeah. So like yeah. she has multi-level disease, which is kind of surprising. She's not uh, worse off. But you could make the argument too we'll if, we, if, yeah. if you're having oh. trouble to just treat one five. level. Let's get an uh, this is a little different because normally we'll you treat yeah. you know proximal to distal. But another option is just to <laughs> okay. treat one segment if, if you know we can't treat everything. But, but does it yeah. make sense to treat just the pop? Because to me, yeah. if your your common femoral inflow is bad, you don't have a internal iliac filling the profunda, right? Correct. So so now yeah. you've got complete cutoff for the common femoral and the profunda. And now you fix the outflow. Yeah, is that, I mean, do you think that would really help? At least no, little... no. I mean, in this case, it doesn't. We can't do yeah. that. But in general, you know, when you're going uh, integrate or in the direction of flow, then potentially you could just treat one level, like the common femoral, and then see how she does. <laughs> Ajit, just yeah, uh, uh, Ajit, just a question. Let's say hypothetically, I mean, we're going to cross this. You've done it before. Oh, we but... don't know. I, I'm just saying, like, I'm glad you have such confidence. I mean, I'm yeah, not, I'm not, I'm not, no, 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 I'm saying. Mala here, come on. Yeah, no, no. So, <laughs> I mean, it's PK doing one. the case. Uh, it's PK doing the case. Yeah. I'm pretty sure we can cross it. Yeah. But I'm saying, hypothetically, if we don't cross <clears> it, um, <throat> and if we have to, I mean, if we have to pursue a surgical option, uh, would you do a non endarterectomy or a oh, hybrid God, or just yeah. directly go for a fempop bypass? So I think um, I would try to do an endarterectomy. Oh, in you know, if we yeah. can't do an endo, I would try, but I would go in, you know, having a high suspicion that I might not be able to do like a, get a good plane and remove all the yeah, plaque and either would have to remove that mm -hmm. segment of the artery oh, and do like an yeah. interposition graft. Um, and then I think I, I would probably just, stage it, to be way. honest. I would probably just fix the don't common lose femoral. Lose. Yeah, and then see how she does after that, uh, rather but, than. Uh, but but really? if you know that she's so calcified yeah. in the pop Roadmap. and Roadmap. occluded twice, uh -huh. uh, why wouldn't you just uh, consider an option of doing this just a bypass for her? It's on. Oh, bypass. You, mean, you mean going above that plaque and going into the bypass? Yeah, Roadmap just uh, do a common femoral to pop bypass. Yeah, I mean, I think the other consideration is whether she has vein. Um, yeah. You know, and I, especially with her multi-level disease, I would rather save her vein. You know, and use it for like critical limb uh, if she progresses so i would probably just try to fix the inflow first and save her vein to be honest especially for claudication but you know i think that's a good point in, in other cases i mean that's definitely an option you know just go straight to bypass. especially if she's so uh, calcified and everything i don't know how much the endovascular option will stay open for her and this is going to be the same difficulty next time you operate on her right it's not like the difficulty is going to be any less correct Mm -hmm. And every yeah. time we access her, you have to access her pedal vessels. Uh, a bypass as a long term Reduce might be a better option for her. Lose the loop? Reduce. Reduce. Yeah, I agree. I mean, uh, you know, I don't want to mention the best CLI trial <laughs> and have start a whole discussion no, uh, on that. Yeah, no, but, no, I mean, no, I'm uh, not talking my about point the best is... CLI trial. I'm just saying, like, this yeah. is a unique case, right? It's not like yeah. a common. You don't see these kind of cases commonly in your go practice. With a, so. Go with an over yeah, no, for sure. It's definitely a good option, but especially if she has vein, I think I would consider that. Over yeah. I think the other thing that we've done, you know, a lot of these patients is we've staged with them over as well. Command? What do we have for over Obama said, you know, I've punctured patients like right, this. This is the command. With their distal over disease eight, first, over an eight and then came back a different day to, to kind of tackle that CFA disease and when they're not operative or not ideal surgical candidates, right? Because then you have options where you can puncture different things. Give like 200 bullets. Hmm. So, uh, Srini, if uh, if bullets. by any chance PK gets into the, he, he's in a plane, if he doesn't re-enter yeah. in the vessel, uh, would you use a re-entry device from below? It's the angle, right? Well, I mean, oh, at this know. point, he's got a six front sheath, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It's five six under. Yeah. So I think, you know, you yeah, can. Yeah, I mean, I have never used it. Uh, I'm pretty sure PK has not used it. And Vishal and none of us in Sinai use a reentry device from the Perfect. foot. But have you had experience with it or? I've done I mean, it. I don't, I don't like I'm, it, but I've, yeah. Well, I, I don't think it's a difference. I mean, what what's the difference, right? It, it's right. whether you're from above or below, it's just gonna work. No, it's just a bulky other. device going through a pedal vessel. That's why I'm asking. Get an Owen like um, um wire. Owen so, so, wire. Yeah, which uh, which which wire is this right now? He's just trying with a command. command. I'm gonna try with a Turumo. Yeah. We'll get a feel. Hmm. Yeah, it's so, in the plane. It's interesting that okay? is so far. Uh, uh, Piki, you haven't uh, used a Confienza or any other CTO crossing no, wire yet. No, nah, we're just trying we've... to just pop in, see if it goes here. You know, mm. let's see. No, nah, that's in the uh, vein, looks like. Well, maybe not. I don't know. Let me no. see. Let's do another roadmap. She did move quite a bit. 
Proximal DVA could be interesting. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to hear that about DVA. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's like a, way outside of mm -hmm. So we're outside the calcium there, so mm -hmm. we're going to pull this back. Yeah. And then we're going to try Probably to in the vein, with, you know. Try to go with another wire here. Go ahead, track my catheter up. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Oh. <clears throat> If you, if you recall, maybe two or three months ago, we had our live case again with a popliteal CTO, very challenging. We had to frog leg because of a um, a, yes. uh, a uh, right, plate a in, in the knee. Yeah. And cool. eventually decided to switch oh, from the integrate mm -hmm. to the retrograde approach from the pedal. And remember, just the distal cap is usually so it's morphologically distinct from the proximal. So all that challenge mm -hmm. we had crossing proximally was kind of abated by just going from the retrograde approach. But over here in this case, which you know, we, we guess you don't see too often is that this distal cap is so it's densely totally calcified, mm -hmm. you know? So yeah, I mean, the, the I mean, actual I, luxury that we, to, we typically have, we don't have today. I'm just going to try to do a dissection re-entry here. If not, like, yeah. to, like, like Dr. Tamala said, we're just going to go with a, uh, with a, uh, this, this, this uh, re-entry device and just pop in. I just want to make sure whether we, we're able to get yeah, you formed here. a plane onto the uh, onto uh, that side. So that's what yeah, well, that's what happens right with the O three five yeah. system. It just Parker. becomes harder. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, planes are there, but what do you, you know? Yeah, yeah. The old, the old, the old, the old adage is either you poop or you get off the pot, right? <laughs> so you know, you know. <laughs> You know, the bottom line is where do you, we do you rehearse yourself in the morning? No, PK, but honestly, I mean, I, I, I just and I spoke about it. We're already on. Oh, you just come up with this kind of stuff. Well, we're committed. <laughs> yeah, we're committed. You guys now. were talking we're about your bathroom etiquette in the morning. Yeah, yeah exactly. Right? <laughs> I don't like the where this early conversation morning going. exchange of thoughts. <laughs> no, but I mean, I mean yeah. it's it's. Yeah. Where do you Srini, think all this? Srini, Srini, don't worry. This is how this is how our live cases are normally. So no, I know that, this is your first time. At the end of the treatment algorithm, that was the final conclusion. Yeah. That's end of the flow chart. Messages from the morning. So at this point, would we use a kind of a CTO wire PK? You're still outside. We are still on the plane. Yeah. Yeah. I think we're gonna go with the CTO wire now. I'm just, you know, with this wire, it's so it's it's pretty good in the sense it'll try to find these planes. So it doesn't look like it's gonna go. The loop is quite large. Would yeah. you try a 035 system before using a re-entry device or just go straight to a re-entry? You here? want to go with a, what, a Terumo glide wire? Because we're already dissecting. That's what yeah. I'm thinking. Or you want to go with a straight Terumo? Because you're already sub-intimal at this point, right? Right. So yeah. Just, yeah, I think matter. we'll try a CTO Confianza. Confianza. And, then, and then if not, then we'll uh, go with a uh, re-entry device. We can try. We can try. The, do we have the NTR, Damien? I don't think I do. I thought we had one or two NTRs sitting around. For these kind of cases, and I, guess I the don't think that... we carry that in the lab no, we anymore. Don't no, 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 oh, no. Just when you needed it, right? I think just pull back a little bit more. And then would you try? Uh, would you pre-dilate if you're going to use like an outback to help it track or I, I think with this amount to, of calcium? Right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Especially yeah. with that uh, eccentricity we took right at the proximal pop, the P1 segment. Yeah. yeah. That eccentricity, I don't think our outback is going to go through that band. I don't know. I mean, the this this the Navicar's kind of popped in quite quite seamlessly. Right. I mean, yes, it's a it's a hydrophilic catheter and all, but it, I, I well, think that's the plane we 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 created was was efficient enough. Yeah, that's what we did. Is just try to bury the Navicar's in so that we could uh, find a nub and hopefully just push it through. This looks a little better. <laughs> it looks, it looks better. like a different plane. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you're just getting close. <clears throat> Same plane as you get. No, no, we were in the, we was pointing in the correct direction to begin with. <coughs> but again, you're right. So, Srini, once, uh, once we cross, which we will. Um, Very confident. I, I am, uh, that's my confidence on you, PK. That's fine. Oh, my God, more pressure. <laughs> yeah, no. so, so, Srini, what would you do? That eccentricity, that big calcium chunk we just crossed in the P1 segment. Right, what's What would on? you, how would you treat that? I mean, I, I don't think shockwave can fix that's that, a, that bend, exactly. right? So I think, on top of I mean, the other, I think yeah. shockwave is still a good option though. Karthik, as you know, it works well even if you're subintimal and you get some level of calcium disruption. Mm, right you there. could try a sculpting balloon, one of the sculpting balloons, right? To try to crack or break up some of that right. calcium. Mm. Um, uh, that's another option. 
uh, versus just straight angioplasty. I mean, at the end of the day, this is going to have to be a stent, I think, right? Yeah, it's, yeah. yeah. definitely. Yeah. yeah. The question is, yeah. can we expand the stent through that segment? That's the... That's, I think I, I'm I'm yeah, it's got to be yeah. a supera, right? Supera, if you want yeah. to go with stent. Yeah, pull back, pull back, let's yeah. go to the bottom line. Yeah, uh, Start here again. Back. I'd also have just covered stents available. You know, yeah, this amount of calcium yeah, and yeah, disruption yeah, and dissection. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you've used uh, shockwave when you've been subintimal, right? Even though yeah, you yeah, 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 yeah. But it's yeah. just uh, the P1 segment. The, the bend yeah. it took is just. Uh, yeah. Uh, I mean, we all know that the shockwave works better for more concentric calcium. Obviously, right. better if it's right. truly luminal. But I think yeah. at, at, in in this case, yeah. you have a. Difficult yeah, access. Yeah, yeah, I think it's stuck. Away. Complex, yeah, yeah. multi-level disease, single vessel runoff. All the way up. There you go. I think in this at this particular point, the fact mm -hmm. that she right. does not have chronic kidney disease is like surprising. Yeah, but like that would, that's that's the typical yeah. extra complication. Blood. But yeah. like, you know, I, th I think this this <laughs> is uh, over here. We, we just try to achieve the best we can without causing too much no, harm. Um, I think shockwave again is going to be the only real uh, debulking you know strategy. You know, give me a one eight. What is it called? Pull it back. Do an astato. This one. No, no, astato. Let's try the one eight. Um, connect two fifty T. PK. Okay. Any any hesitation? Any reason why you're hesitating to use just a reentry device just to? Well, PK I mean, it? we got we have time. I mean, I I, I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to try once or twice with two different wires, like the way Srini had just suggested. Say. And then, and then Srini, uh, Ajit's already suggesting to go with a 035. Can you just give me an 035 glide then while, while you look for the Connect 250T? And then we're just gonna, we're just gonna go ahead and do it. 035 mm -hmm. glide, please. So that's why I'm just gonna try to, you know, I don't wanna lose that collateral and get subintimal in that area, but I think at this stage, like what we said, we're, you know, we're already on, the, on, on process here, nothing much we can do. Mm -hmm. 035 we're glide on the pot, and Connect as 250T. You say. Yeah, we're there. I mean, we're already, we're already got pedal access. The fact that she's not ischemic right now, She's not complaining of foot pain, makes me feel better. You know, I'm, I keep asking yeah. Ray how she's feeling and Ray says she's sleeping. So that's a good time to put a torque around this guy. Yeah. Um, and I think that's a good one. I mean, I, I think like, like, uh, like Roman said, that, that distal calcium really screwed us up here. You know? It deflects you off from the well, lumen. That occurs to me, your own adage is always, you know, yeah. just Cal start over. Calcium is the enemy, right? Yeah. Right, you know. I also like this approach of like upgrading, you know, starting with 014, 018, and What's then, on, you know, oh, using an 035 is kind of a backup. So that way you don't really uh, propagate that or like open up that dissection plane and you have a higher chance of trying to find a new plane. I think that's also smart. Yeah, we've yeah. tried that multiple times here. I've come back multiple times. It just seems to be getting back in that. We could pull back all the way distal yeah, and try exactly. again with another plane. Yeah. You know, always start yeah. again from the very, very beginning. Yeah. You know, maybe always, just, I mean, yeah, go all the way back to that, that, that calcium. I don't it looks like it's in a vein. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. That looks pretty good. I don't know. It's starting to move better. I think it's no, no, it's right. still in the dissection it's outside. Plan. How can it be moving that freely, right? Who knows? I, I am more talented than <laughs> I feel I am. The cal no, I'm joking. Uh, yeah, yeah, we're not in the right spot. Yeah, it's a, it's a, we're right on top of it. You can see just going the all the way. The other thing we can do is torque this and try another plane here. That would probably pull mm -hmm. back more. Let's try that plane here. Let's see where yeah. it goes. No, <clears> it's definitely <throat> not good. There. Mm -hmm. Different. Nope, got outside the vessel again. But it's heading. It's... Mm. Nah, I don't think it's in the right spot. Looping around now. Yeah, yeah, that's how your 018, yeah, 018 better... made the loop. That's how your 018, yeah, 018, 018, 018, 018, 018 made the loop. Right. All the way over, yeah. yeah. But it's uh, right. going in a different Ooh, plane. That's so. a collateral. That's good. Uh, yeah, that's a collateral. So give me now an 014 wire. Just, uh, Let, let's... Vein. No, I think it's a collateral. That's two out of the vein. Ah, this, this is a long four. Yeah. Ah. Mm, okay. mm. So, PK, pull back. So we started with a fielder guide wire, then we went to a command 18, then a confianza. Right. Uh, now we're trying a, a glide, 035 glide. Right. Connect to, oh, no, you're glide. trying a 035 glide. Glide, okay. You know, I will say, I, I actually have not had too much <laughs> luck going from an Going from like a hydrophilic 014, 018 yeah. to a Confianza and then going to an 035. All right, give me the Connect 250. Traditionally, the, the, if I go downwards, you know, go with the 035s, then to maybe a hydrophilic or CTO wire 014 system. But I have, I have 
especially from the retrograde approach, I, I mean, I also have, I believe, very, very rarely put a sheath in the, uh, the foot. But I've traditionally, yeah, I've, I've, I've not had as much success going from a smaller caliber wire to an 035 system. Because I think it's the same problem that we see you know, as you create these these big loops and big dissection planes. These these other wires tend to kind of you know. So, you know, how do you upgrade your wires? You do, from retrograde, do you directly go with 035s or do you start with 018s or how do you do it? Get us another yeah, two of 018, please. Yeah, another connect 250. Let's go. With a fielder, I like fielder. I think that's a okay. great take guide wire that tends to find micro channels. I'm so pull I back a little bit more. I quickly escalate, Karthik, like you said, uh, from 014 to usually from there I go to a command okay. 18. Yeah. Command 18 doesn't <clears> work. <throat> the ends, uh, that doesn't work. I may go to a heavier wire like a Connect 250T or one of the Estados. Get us a, get us a command and 18 as well. Don't open it. Eventually, okay. I'll get to a, uh, uh, a glide wire. A lot of times, I like a straight glide wire, you know, because I've already got a catheter, and sometimes that helps me. In <coughs> Interesting. Um, okay. Using my uh, huh? escalate. It's fine. So we're just now, I pulled the catheter back. So, I'm yeah. going to get yeah. so you, the out back you, ready. You usually tend to access the occluded vessels in the pedals as much as possible. So again, in this one, if it's a, like PK was saying, it's a very heavily calcified posterior tubular artery that's occluded. That's going to be very hard to cross, right? Right. So then you're kind of battling that vessel to cross. I think if it's relatively non or minimally calcified, then it's easier to, you know, do the sort of so Schmidt technique where you access an occluded tibial and use that as your conduit for, for therapy above. But in somebody that's pretty heavily calcified like she is, you're basically, the likelihood of crossing that PT is gonna to be tough just from below. And no, so in that case, that. you would have accessed this anterior tibial, I would have put a sheath in, run the drip, you know, whether it's a combination oh, of heparin, still... right. whatever your skill is. And then I, I'd fix like what PK and you guys are doing right now. I think the only other possibility here would have been although not ideal, is an anagrade proximal SFA stick, fix the SFA, fix the pop, see what the outflow tibial looks yeah. like, fix that. Mm. Well, you don't want to fix it because it's not a CLI yeah. patient. Leave it alone if you've got inline flow, and then come back a different day to tackle the CFA um, yeah. from a different... That's yeah. another yeah. possibility, right? That's another, it's not ideal, but that's another possibility. Agreed. Here we have a great to, approach. might be able to... Well, yeah, I think we're getting ready for our outback here. Yeah. I'm just trying a few things while we get the outback ready. I, don't, I, th I think we're going to have to make a balloon angioplasty of this segment and then take it from there. It's see, that calcium just keeps pushing me out, you know, and that's going to be the problem. And which, which wire is this right now? This is the Connect 250T, and which I think crossed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it just crossed as we open as the outback. As the outback is open. As we, as we open the outback. All right, now. All right. <laughs> yeah. See, PK, what did I say? Uh, you just have to threaten it. I mean, go ahead. It's like I have more no. confidence on you no. than you have no. on yourself. Oh, there, there you go. I am. I'm just Always. To that's, and... that's why. I mean, Ajit was telling me back here, we can do it, man. Hang in there. Listen, we have to root for one another, guys. This is man. not easy. Right. We all know that. <laughs> yeah. You know. Let me tell you, every time oh, people sure. under pressure, somehow we seem to cry. You know what? Yeah, I know, right? There you go. All the way up to the wire. And there it is. Yeah, you're definitely in. Okay. All right. Let's take a picture yeah, here. It's definitely in. I hope. Yeah, you're in. <coughs> it's, it's, it's like two free. It's just, two as, free. just as Michelle and I are laughing, you know, it's all Contra our fault. Contrast right there. Do we have blood flow? I, I assume we have blood flow at this point. I was just going to hope. He is. Yes. I can see it uh, dripping out of that uh, over eight. No, no, no. It's an 035. <laughs> that's, that's why I'm scared. Oh, yeah. Oh, boy. There it is. This, this is what happens. Really? Uh, Unless right. uh, the plane right, is really a, big. It might be a really big plane. Okay, give mm. us a, 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 um, a command 018 now. So we're already, so yeah, I'm glad you opened the Outback so we can do the Outback <laughs> if we need to. Let me just try with the command. We'll know where we are. This is the old one, right? Yeah, because He's the 035 did make a big plane, so it could have been the plane, but. <clears> no, but either way, this no, is an one. area we're going to have yeah, to re-enter anyway. re -enter anyways. Yeah, agreed. Would you re-enter it uh, right below the level of the collateral, uh, Srini, Ajit? Would you guys do it below the level of the collateral or above the collateral? I, mean, how, what are we um, I personally would try below the collateral if I can and then, yeah. you know, work yeah, my way. Preserve it. Yeah. yeah, because you have a segment below the collateral where you can yeah, re-enter, right? So 
Yeah. Right. Like I think it's always way. safer to try in the you know unhealthy occluded part, part first, and then work your way to the healthier vessel where it reconstitutes, Agreed. so that way you Agreed. don't burn bridges. Agreed. Not always possible, so, but yeah. PK, it seemed as though from the O3 Fab catheter, you did not get any blood back. We did not, brother. Oh uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. but, yeah, mm -hmm. and you can see yeah, around the side. All right. Okay, well, we're, we're back. I mean, there. Uh, yeah. Just. We're in a plane. All right, let's get the uh, outback ready. Yeah. It's another plane. It's the dissections in the. Yep. Yeah. It's a let's 2D image here. of the. Three All right, give me an 014 yeah. catheter now. <clears throat> give me an 014 um, 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 yeah, wire yeah, so we can I, take I, this I extra stiff. Uh, okay, uh, what is it called? Uh, extra stiff. Uh, Command wire. You okay, so you're going to use a photo oh. balloon to create your track, or I I don't know. This thing I went pretty this smooth. This went through, exactly. This so went I'm through, going to try it once without. I mean, it's navy cross, but uh, uh, outback see. is very bulky, so I don't know if you'll make that bend at that uh, popliteal. That's my concern. Yeah. Uh, I think, we should I think be it's able worth to trying, just so that way you don't push it, the yeah. dissection out further. You know. Yeah, that's what yeah. I'm trying to do. So you know, and then it becomes harder to use the outback uh, to go. So I'm just going to go ahead and I have a command extra right. extra support here. 014. four. Oh, uh, we're going to get the outback. I'm sure Karthik has seen like or uh, Srini as well. Like once you have a lot of dissection plane, the hematoma actually pushes onto the true lumen. It can collapse, and now it becomes even harder to go with the reentry. Correct. Yeah, and it makes a bigger, yeah. you know, because, false yeah, lumen to exactly. Which makes so it harder you don't want to, to compromise your true lumen to a point that mm -hmm. now you really have no lumen to enter into with your wire. So okay, let it sit there. That's yeah. a good spot. Okay. And that. the question is, where are you going to reenter here? Are you going to go as high oh. up as the wire? Or are you going to go What's try to start back down? I'm just going to, I mean, we, we could take a picture. We know the reconstitution is around 20, right? So yeah. I think, uh, is that right, brother? 20 yeah. around 20? Right? So let's go around mm -hmm. 20. So Ray's flushed the outback. And th this is the nice part of, we could use a Pioneer, but it's a little more Come bulky. On. So we, we're going to go with the outback. Pioneer is way bulky. Give me a wet one, guys. And we're going to go up here. You know, uh, this is our first uh, pedal reentry uh, case, PK. Well, yeah. it would have been nice, like I said, to, if we had that other anterior catheter. But I think yeah. here we got, you know, this is a, a nice decision-making case where we have all... I'm just going to go real smooth here. Let's yeah. see how it goes mm -hmm. without yeah, having a little resistance somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. Poorly. Like right out of the Right at the bend. Yeah, yeah it was what, it was, this is what we were a little worried about here. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it looks like there's a stenosis there. Yeah. 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 Is going to be you, you have to balloon your way up. It's uh, it's All right, not. Walk yeah. it up. Get, it, get us a three three o balloon. Three o three o eighty balloon. Approximately eighty though, right? We can yeah, approximately eighty. Yeah. Again at the proximal pop. It's a uh, uh, outback. Uh, outback is bulkier than it looks. So yeah. yeah. Oh no question. Yeah, especially yeah. the bends. When it goes through the bends, like even aortic even like bifurcation over, bends, yeah. it has difficulty. Correct. So uh, there's no way it's going to make these bends. Oh, the only man. question is, uh, you know, we can't straighten out that bend by doing any sort of maneuver. 308 no, just, uh, balloon, I guys? think it's more of a lesion than uh, for here, I think. Yeah, there's calcification right yeah. there as well. You can see, of course, not as dense, but definitely there. Watch it. All right. So we're going to go. So any thoughts if we fail with the outback? Uh, outback I mean, one way, one way to do it is uh, it all take, a, no, take an anti-grade access. Uh, with a with a micropuncture access kit, uh, create your track, balloon it, and do a cart technique. Well, <laughs> I, 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 you just I, cross I, centigrade. Yeah, I mean, if yeah. you cross, you cross. But I mean, the question is, you don't you don't want to put another sheet uh, because now you're again staging the process, right? As uh, Srini wanted to do from beginning. Yeah, but if you can just do it, if you can cross well, it with a micropuncture access, take it out, balloon it, uh, you know, do a shock wave in the common femoral, finish the case off today itself. Day, you know? Well, like I said, I think that's where, you know, we'll have a discussion, but yeah. let me at least balloon <laughs> this, and then uh, once we cross, yeah. you know, so, yeah, there's the lesion. Look at that. Look how tight oh, that yeah, was. Yeah. Yeah. That's tight yeah. right there. there. Yep, by the ostium. But it's about 14. <coughs> because if you come from yeah. above, even with the pedal axis, uh, even with the micropuncture <laughs> axis, you can use a coronary balloon to go through a micropuncture mm -hmm. axis up here. and use a 5 or balloon. I think balloon, just, balloon yeah, and balloon then it all I the way up. All the way here. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Balloon Create this? a card yeah. technique, you know. I would just balloon the whole thing with this 3 so okay. wow. start from yeah. Look at that. Yeah, that's what my... See, deflects it. Deflects it. Yeah. See, that's my, that's my concern right there, the deflection. Eccentricity. Yeah. Yeah. Man, at that point, that, that much... 
you know, being outside the actual vessel. The other question is, do you just go straight for a covered stent? You know, even well, let's see. I think, no, I think if you can expand, so Pira will be fine. I think. Uh, I, think, quite I think one of the drop the only drawback, Raman, I would go up here. Stand, you know, a single vessel run yeah. for a year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And yeah, also, covered stent through the pedal, it's bulkier. I don't know if you'll yeah. really, it'll strip off, and then now you're, I don't yeah. know. It's not a and fun thing to. Yeah. And if yeah. we look at the covered stent, <laughs> is a long CTO too, so it's not you know the the patency rate right primary patency rate of the uh, Viabon in this case. Biki, any say. reason you pull back or? I just wanted to get a feel, but sometimes a wire oh, can okay. pop in. Yeah, you well, know. this is a is this like a technique like ballooning when you know you're interluminal to try to open up that uh, true lumen, so that way you get kind of push that dissection flap back down. That's what I'm trying to do, is exactly. That, yeah. But I mean, it, it can, sometimes you'll get lucky, right? Yeah. You know, I just, we're Tears just, open we're to just trying room. to see whether we get lucky. Uh, we do frequently get lucky here in this lab, so. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I think that's good enough. All right, walk it out. But Let I like Karthik's uh, idea of like uh, just doing a micropuncture from above and trying to yeah. meet in the middle somewhere. It may not work because this cap is so like calcified. Yeah. So even crossing, yeah. you know, I mean, be, we can try yeah. getting the outback, but I, I, I'm very sure outback is going to have very hard, I think that's pretty, okay, right? pretty significant difficulty yeah, getting across that band. Yeah, what? Okay, yeah. Let go of the, uh, so it's much easier to just balloon it and do a car technique, but uh, we can try outback. We we opened it anyway, so we might as well just try it. Okay, well, that's well, a good place uh, to re-enter PK, right? Yeah, right Below there, the level of that uh, cap. Yeah. 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 Oh, the yeah, let me just push this up. Hold on. Let me just try to see. Pull the wire completely back. Okay, for sure. You probably need to be past the cap a little bit, right? Because otherwise it's just going to get stuck yeah. at the calcium. Right, right. right. Push right. the wire now. The wire has to be definitely there past that. Uh, that's perfect. Up. Now walk that's it back. That's fine. Oh, that's a good, mm -hmm. yeah. <clears throat> yeah, we just wanted to get the wire in a nice spot before we try once more with the outback. Okay, let's go. All right, step one. AT I'll hopefully right draws this. Uh, yeah, you guys good. still, you guys still have the infusion running through the uh, the sheath of the nitro and all. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Pick your question. Mm. Uh, like uh, in your experience, uh, Srini and Ajit and Vishal, anybody, I mean, of course, you, Raman. The what you guys think Pioneer is much more bulkier than Outback in general. Yeah. Yeah. Like to I go mean, through I'm... the bends. I'm talking. I'm not talking about the si size of the. I feel like Pioneer actually makes bends much easier than Outback does. Let's, well, we could try the Pioneer. We have that too. Yeah. No, so I, I think. Srini yeah. and Ajit, what do you guys think? Thank you. Srini, what do you think? Let me see. You know, I haven't noticed, to be honest with you. I think they're both a little bit bulky around the turn. I, I don't have enough uh, experience with Pioneer to tell you, uh, Carter. Okay. Because no, I don't use Pioneer that much either. So. Uh... Yeah. Nope, not going to go. No. I think yeah. the only difference is, isn't the Pioneer tapered a little bit more? At the yeah, that's what that's why I thought. I mean, I, I mean, normally it's, right, it's a small, a it, let's see. it's a it's a it's a bigger device, but it just makes through the bends much easier because it's tapered at the at the end. That's but what you, I thought. But let's try. I mean, listen. I'm I know PK has that. the most experience of all for no, Pioneer. No, I've never I've never done uh, through the Outback. I mean, I've never done Outback right. from the foot, Fire so I'm foot, obviously yeah. learning. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The only question here now is. Whether we quickly stick anti-grade, put a wire down, yeah. and come from I think we should at least get ready with an ultrasound to stick anti-grade. Yeah. yeah. So I think so prep, got, the, prep, yeah. prep the anti-grade access. Well, it's all prepped. Everything is oh, prepped. Okay. Where would you it's stick just, the, uh, yeah. the SFA? I just stick the SFA. Yeah, with, yeah with, SFA, with just wire. micropuncture. Yeah. And just put a wire down yeah. and then track it down, and then we can either re-enter at the pop and work from below. Yeah. Just put a pedal access kit. I mean, a pedal access catheter there, which is 2.4 French. Yeah, like a cook sheet. Yeah, cook sheet. And then, then use a coronary balloon and dilate it. Well, I don't know if a cook sheet will be long enough to reach, guys. You got to flush it. Yeah. No, no. Flush. But you can take a, a no PK when you put the wire down. Cook sheet is 2.4. It will take any coronary balloon through it. <laughs> just go it. and balloon it, and then after that you can take an 018 or an 014 mm -hmm. wire and just cross. No, I'm not saying no. I'm just saying that it's going to be interesting oh, to see the oh, length yeah. of the sheet. Yeah. I mean, the, the question is that the advantage by doing a cook sheet is when you go from below, you can do the intervention from below. And once you can take the cook sheet out when you're doing a shock wave there. So that way the, the access site is sealed. You don't I have to worry thin, about it. I think a thin lady. So I yeah. think it should not be that not. difficult. Like but the again. hematoma chances yeah. are also much less. Well, if we cross, we can always leave the, either balloon tamponade or something. Yeah, that's what mm -hmm. it is. That's what you I'm know. saying. 
Sorry, so if here, it's two point four, here goes nothing. <laughs> I'll rail it. Yeah. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. I knew this would be an interesting case, but I not for these reasons. <laughs> I, is this wire stiff wire? Is this a stiff? It's a stiff wire. It's extra stuff. Uh, yeah, come on. Yeah. I feel like this is probably has less trackability than the uh, Alpha. Yeah, I agree. There it goes. Oh, you... well, stand corrected. <laughs> no, I, I, I'm, I'm telling you, Ajit, I feel like this has more real, tapered real? flow yeah. than uh -huh, anything yeah. else. Uh, Outback uh, just is a smaller it's... device, but it's uh, this is more tapered. To cross through the, the bends, end this of is it, much easier. Yeah. yeah. It makes the bends no, much the easily. Mm. But it's just calcium is the problem for this device. Yeah. It's like if you have too much calcification, you have to make a bigger lumen for this device. Yeah, yeah it's a it's a bulkier device. You're right. With much the bulkier and device, it, but definitely much more bulkier. And that way, Outbug delivers better. But again, you're right. That uh, it's stiff. That's why I guess the it delivers better. The question is, better. should we poke Load a it. hole and try with another wire through the other hole and see where it goes? Let's try that. Maybe find another plane. Yeah, let's just find another plane. All right, give me uh, give me another command. Hmm. No, but you you can't take the. You wire. can't do. You have to take the you wire. Out. This is not Outbug. No, you can. It goes to it, it goes no. to the back guys. Is it oh, getting yeah. stuck in the occluded segment, or yeah. is this? Yeah. No, no, yeah. in the calcium, not making the calcific bend. So your plan now is to take the second axis, like uh, the second port, and just try to wire again. Yeah, so we bear back it. Yeah, port. exactly. Take and the wire. Try to far. get the needle and try to do something here. Okay, is the chroma flow on? Uh, I can't even see the needle. Give me Can a wire. you get the chroma flow on? Give me the wire, please. Command. Yeah, I need just no one four. Like an yep. interior catheter now. Yeah, well, we're way low. I'm just trying to see whether yeah. we get another plane, yeah. get another loop, and take it up. No, the mm -hmm. best thing is you can see if in the occluded segment, see where the normal vessel is, and just try to poke into the normal vessel. It but there is no the normal vessel here, right? It doesn't. It doesn't fill. It's completely occluded. I know. But... All right. Let's see here. All right. What are we... Ray? Why don't you prep the anti grade here? Oh, you can turn on the chroma flow off. That's fine. Because yeah. we balloon down here too, right? Correct. With a 3 yeah. This 3 right? Uh, oh, just a 3 If you use like a 4 or something, then yes. I think it will pass through. Same problem. You want to fire your needle? I bit? did. Wow. Oh, you did? Oh, okay. I didn't see that. Oh, yeah. So maybe we'll just, just turn directions and try to see if we can... Hold on. Let me turn the yeah, direction here. exactly. Oh, the other, the other direction. Mm -hmm. Let's try there. Yeah. Just like... There's the needle right there. Might give you a better plane. Who knows? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's just fighting. That's what I'm just trying. I'm yeah. trying something different here. Because that looks like it's outside. Well, I know, Carthy. I'm just trying to get a different plane, brother. <laughs> I know, but <laughs> uh, that's way outside. Yeah. The other um, thing you can do is just try to slowly pull back the needle, right? Like not right. not fully release it, mm -hmm. um, and see if you poke right into the into the right plane. Push it up now. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. Just what do you guys see? Can we can we pull up the Ivis? Yeah. See we see what we're seeing yeah, on the Ivis. You, you see nothing on the Ivis. Oh, let me nothing see at all. Goes. Nope, that's out. Let me pull back the needle a little bit. All right, let's get anti grade access, guys. We're effing around too yeah. much. Yeah. <laughs> You know, sometimes in thin people, you know, you it's can put rock. a down on the side too and see where your guide wire is uh, from below. Yeah, you could do an EOS and then uh, see if you can try see the loom yeah. and try to re-enter that. That's a that's mm. calcium. Yeah. But integrate access would probably be the, the most useful. Plus, your imaging will be improved tremendously, right? Like, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <clears throat> Nothing is going to break. Nothing is going to break this. Tough, tough rock there. Wow. All right, let's walk it out. Hold on, let me lock this. Yeah. yeah. Make sure the needles are back. Yep, needles are back. Okay, let's go. You wow. have to give yeah, me a regular see the whole thing moving with that now. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> all right. So, all right, let's get the integrate. Ajit, you want to do that, brother? Yeah, sure. The integrate Come. stick. Uh -huh. give, give me, I'm going to continue to work from here. Okay. Give me a uh, 018. Uh, I'll help Ajit set up. Yeah. Yep, you set up Ajit. Ray, come on this side. Give me an 018. Uh, PK? Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, would, you, would you use a 4 balloon or 5 balloon and make a bigger track and try the Pioneer again? I could. I mean, I yeah. think I think the other idea is, is kind of... 
very appealing to me right now. Yeah. I mean, you have the device out anyways. I mean, now we just, uh, I mean, we just, it's not like we didn't try from below. I'm saying at least you'll, you'll have to make that track anyways. Even if you have to yeah. stand, you still have to make a 5060 track for the support. But hopefully right? if we cross, yeah, you're right. Unless we yeah. cross in a different that direction. I know, but it doesn't matter yeah. which plane you go in. With that amount of mm -hmm. calcium chunk, you still have mm -hmm. to make the track. We already ballooned it. We might as well just use this track. Yeah, I mean, you know, a a, like so I you, told you guys, this is a very challenging case. I mean, I think so, so that be ready just in case, you know, if you need to. Yep, I agree. Go ahead, Ajit. Yep, you got it. Yep. I'm out of your way now. Oh, thank you. Okay, you got to bring the ultrasound machine yeah. to Dr. Rock. The, I'm on this side, right? Yep. Can we yeah, bring the ultrasound closer? Yeah, he's coming right now. Or Ray. Blanky, what's uh, the the name of the other uh, crossing catheter with the uh, the needle on the tip? Oh, the big man. Uh, yeah, oh, wow. yeah, 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 yeah. Wonder if the if we uh, PK do you, do you want to give that that a shot from from below yeah, see see how that works if if, if you can yeah. if you can. But I don't think we have overnight. Uh, when we can use. We it. have think, it. No, we we have, we, have, we have both. Okay. We have both. Yeah. Can you get the? Is there any way we can change the monitor swap? Get the accessory monitor out and the other one closer to him. Yeah. Perfect. And then this one, the ultrasound machine closes. Yeah, perfect. perfect. It's a very, very tough case, PK. Well, you know, if we figure yeah, with Trini, we got to give him something good. <laughs> Can you change, change the depth for him? Oh, so no, I, no, want... I, I would, I would uh, stick it. Sure. Yeah, we're, we're, we're going, brother. We're going there. I agree. I yeah, All right, give me a coffee, Enzo, guys. Than I am from below. That's tough. It's a tough case. Oh, well, it's tough. Well, you know, very it's all tough. the decision making, right, Trini? That's, right. that's the whole idea. Calcium. I mean, we have it here. We have it here. Okay, can we calcium. keep it open? We're gonna need Come it anyway. four Yeah, I think I, I'm pretty sure as soon as you balloon below that level of the collateral with the five like, balloon coronary balloon, you'll pop it. I hope so. The yeah, you will. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. That's the calcium. Right. So this would be good right here. I feel so, like I you know in idea, these kind of cases, one. card technique is like the best. It always yeah. works. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I don't want to keep you guys too long, so I'm gonna give another 15 minutes, and then we'll continue to work. We've got all the advice from Srini as well as from Ajit, so. I know Ajit's got cases, and we'll continue to work. Yeah, we'll continue good. to record, nice, and we'll post this yeah, online. Uh, like currently, I'd like to at least cross for you guys, yeah. not you, but the audience. I'm gonna at quickly home. get a flora pick. And then take, yeah, you can take flora. Uh -huh. There yeah. you go. There's the wire down. Okay. Yep, there yeah. it is. Going so, nice and easy. Yep, you come down here. Maybe you cross. Keep coming, brother. Yeah, that's just the introducer. I would love to see this this wire just <laughs> cross by itself. Fly oh through. <laughs> it may. It I mean, may. it may because you created such a big plane. Uh, right. uh, uh, which wire are we going to use, though? Well, I would go with a, an 014 wire oh, so you can steer yeah. it into my catheter if you can. Okay. Laura? I guess we're doing the whole thing, right? Yeah. yeah. Good. Go in. Is it reaching? Down. Fantastic. Right. Oh, oh. Yeah, it's, it's there. Is it there in the in the vessel? I hope Should it be. is. Yeah, our micropuncture is in. Yeah, yeah, definitely. It's there? You sure in the vessel? In, yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. I want to make yeah, sure yeah, it's yeah. in the vessel. Okay. All right, cool. All right, show me down below. Let me see. Yeah, it's faulted yeah. yep. Okay, there. give him a wire now while I try from below. You can try from go to low mag here, right? Here's a needle. Like? Give him a... Um, uh, give him a command. Let him try, Let's try a command. Let's try a command. We're sharp. Yeah, oh, honestly, if... I, I I think considering the the amount of devices we've taken from the Come single right, vessel right. runoff pedal here, I think if we manage to cross and degrade, I would actually prefer to take out the pedal axis and finish working uh, from from above. Just because of the fact of like you know we've had this large outback to the like AT, a, a pioneer to the AT. I'd uh, rather oh, preserve this this single vessel. No, the only question is you have to come back for that common femoral. Or are you Correct. just completing the case? You want to just complete the case and just finish it off in one setting instead of just re-accessing things and everything. You're there anyways. It's just one. It's, go, it's yeah. just, just going to add 10 more minutes to your case. Uh, first time. Or lose a single axis. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you know, guys, no, you listen, yeah, yeah, you know, you know, yeah. it's a challenge. Yeah, you want. It's a lot look, of at, difficult every, choices. I mean, part of what we're doing, trying to yep. show is right. where we are in terms of our decision making of when we get pedal access. You know, this is a lady this who doesn't really have much option. Okay. So, you know, where we do pedal access in Can these kind of patients, I think it's reasonable. OK, come down. Can here. you get the other monitor for him as okay, well? There you are. OK, I'm going to pull my Ray's going to pull uh -huh. the catheter back. Can I get a torque on this? Yeah. Why don't you guys put an 018 wire from there? There you go. 
Let's see if I can find your plane here. Uh -huh. You can do a card here, maybe. Let's see. Yeah. Uh, that's a good spot to do the card. Let me give you a torker. Okay. So then the next question is, I assume we would finish therapy of this uh, this segment of vessel before treating the CFA, right? Yeah. Oh, yes. yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. At least yeah. ballooning it, brother. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, you know, I, I think as you can see, it's not easy. I mean, I think he's going to need some support. I'm going to, I'm yeah, going to have no Ray just, from the uh, top. yeah, I think, yeah, uh, just pull it back a little. See, it's yeah, he needs support up there. So it's not uh, going to yeah. cross. We, like we an saw, O and eight. Yeah, you, o and eight. Tell you, them, you, is that, you have a pedal axis uh, sheet or? Yeah, yeah, we have a four, uh, four, four, five slender. Actually, a five, six slender. The yeah, pedal axis is fully sheeted. Uh, no, no, no. I'm saying no, that in, for in the, the anti grade. grade. The anti -grade axis. No, anti grade, we just have the micro puncture sheet. That's what you I was talking about. We can take an over eight stiffer support wire if he doesn't want to put it in. Yeah, we, yeah, we don't have to put a sheet then. We can just yeah. bear back the uh, so, over eight. Correct. Yeah. So uh, give me a stiffer wire. Let's take a stiffer wire first in exchange for an over eight now because we're okay. over it. So here we're, so while they get a, 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 an over eight, uh, a support catheter in from above, I'm just going to try with a glide a glide type catheter from below. And see what I can find because sometimes when there's a wire, or an Trini screen, I mean, uh, a Jitta created some planes, flush it. We need that open mm -hmm. it. Uh, created some planes, and it should, it should, it so may work. Yeah, and it gives you a good target so too see. to aim for. Would you ever Extra consider support, yeah. either bringing her back, like using a steerable sheath? Is that well, in smart. your I mean, algorithm be, for this? That would be another the next step. I mean, I, but I'm afraid of that. Uh, that's the reason we tried not to right. do it here. Let's see. I mean, let's see. Give a few more minutes, and then we'll we'll keep working offline. I know we like to finish these cases, but this one doesn't look like it's it's amenable for an hour. Yeah. Laura, okay. so we have to take this off now. Yeah, make sure it's... park around this. Pull mine back, Ray. The cap let's, back. let's go up a little bit, Ray, for a second. Yeah. Yeah, you guys go up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh. You're on a little collateral. I may need a torque on this. Yeah, I'll give you a torque. Yeah, come back, come back. I think we went, yep, yeah. right there. No. Nope. Yeah, there yeah. you go. There you yeah. go. Another That's collateral. Better. Yeah, can I get a torque? Yeah, yeah, sure. Beautiful, another collateral. Huh. There you go. Perfect. Nice. Watch for the ultrasound. Take the ultrasound. Uh, don't drop right. it. Okay, perfect. Now I'm going to give you. So, you want to open it? Yeah, yeah it's a core cross. Yeah, when uh, Navi cross, open it. Open track, right? Okay, 035. Huh? Can you get an 018? Yeah, uh, yeah man, over. Looks like I'm in. Hold on. Yeah, PK has one. We need the other one. Mm -hmm. I got it. I got it. Don't worry about it. Yeah, same problem. There's really uh, yeah. so nice. What cap are you guys using from above? Above, so we're just going to go with a uh, regular uh, Navicross, uh, 018 Navicross, yeah. I think. Or so a, I have a stiff wire down. Or, or, um, or a Navicross. Um, you're doing Navicross? Okay, yeah. he's doing Navicross. It just we have to cross the fat and flash mm -hmm. everything, so it's just better to go now. This is 018 Navicross? Yep. Yep. Pull back a little. Give me a, a start of 21. Oh, yeah, so and then you would PK, snare just from for the, the bottom? PK, just for the um, audience, uh, or Srini, um, the card technique you guys do is you balloon from above, balloon from below, or, um, and then re-enter into I one of the so. segments. I mean, I, I think in this case, I would put the balloon from below, right? Uh, Just can you pull the wire back? Got great access from above right now. It's a nice, looks like the wire alignment is pretty normal. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, clean that I don't think it really matters. I don't think it matters in the kinky. I probably would go from below because maybe uh, we get a better channel down below too, right? Guys, you're tr I mean, there, there's no question you have to go from below with this access because I think Srini is just being very nice. I think the bottom line is, if you know, if, if you put a sheet in that SFA and, and, and then Let's you're working up. with Can that, you're creating a whole a different set of problems. I think here you're going to have no problem in terms okay, of getting uh, getting the um, um, uh, the, uh, the gyrate, pedal please. sheet out without a problem. But I mean, from above, if you put a sheet, I think you're going to have issues. Hold on. Let me give you a little bit of... Mm -hmm. oh, watch it, please. Yeah, sorry. Hold on. Is it going or no? I uh, just need a dry rate tech here. Okay. Yeah. So we're in the artery. Oh, you're definitely in the artery. Yeah, it's just the way it kinks. Working. Hold on. Let me give you a little bit of support with the yeah. tissue. Ray, yeah. can you fix the... Yeah. yeah somebody just has to hold... Yeah, 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 there it goes. I am, I am. There we go. Yeah, just you just trying go. to give Good extra go support. It. The fat, that's what I'm saying. Excellent. Just... Yeah, the this is the problem with sheetless. It's very difficult. Yeah. I agree with you. Yeah, I know, okay. but uh, PK, why don't we put the pedal axis sheet? Huh? 
Yeah, King. Did you guys cross already? Looks like you crossed. Looks like you guys crossed, right? Looks like it. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Push a little more. I think you're going to cross. You want to try to see more? Cross the balloon area. Good. Come. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna wait. Let Ray and I pull this back a little. So like, so much excitement. So that's. That's called the no look technique. That's 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 it's just your push. No look technique. You push. No, you push. Not no, you don't know. But it went very easy. Though. Yeah. You know, you keep pushing and it'll go somewhere. So. No, but I don't like. It's too much resistance. Yeah, that looks like it might be. Yeah, Available. I think you already made that yeah. bend. I think you're in. You just have to get the catheter. No, no, no. You can push a little bit more. Lose the no, lose no. the loop here. I know, but there's probably uh, a kink up there. You can there. push a little bit more, PK. Uh, yeah. Vishal. I think you once you go through that bend, you lose the loop by yourself. No, no, no. See what I'm trying to say is there's a possible kink up there with the entry point. And the wire. Uh, here. Like what you mean? Like see, you're right, about right, right, right. The axis. One second, just stop for a second. Oh, <laughs> here, here. Look. Yeah, I want to see. Okay. Let's just see if we can get in here. Nope, it's not. A big look. Pop. Yeah, that's something. PK, I think it popped in this distally. I hope so. No, I'm saying you can get, just, probably yeah, get just, into the catheter yeah, distally. Right. Let's so, so just look at the calcium distally. You think you're, it's just I can't transmit my force well, and I don't want to. No. There you go. No, I don't like that. It's big loop. It's going to pop right in. Okay, it, you're, it, in. It, it, it you're in. It's in. Now, hold on. Now, now, it's, now, in, it's, in, it's in, it's in, it's in. It's in. No, 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 no. Hold on. Let's, let's now. Can you track it down, Ajit, or no? Uh, there's, it's going to be a little hard because it's getting Now you can lose the loop, Vishal. If you pull it back, you lose the loop. No, you have to get the The problem is we can't. Hold on. I Let's have see to if it's track going. my catheter down. Let's look up top, guys. Yeah, there we there go. It is. No, that's what I'm saying. It's probably the issue no, we're got, having. I, yeah. I got, I got yeah. the rail. Just come. She just has a panis, so it's Correct. a little bit. Keep kind of kinks the catheter. Oh, but it's me, coming slowly. Let me hold it. Give me. Let, let me flatten it, back it here. So the, Even a little lower would be nice. Maybe just make a small nick a in ago. the skin. No, 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 it's just the... Open the track a little bit. Just the panis and... Yeah, just the panis. But remember, at the same time, when we keep pushing, we don't want to kink the wire. Otherwise, we'll be, like, oh, yeah. shot. All right, we're almost there. Yeah. Should we advance wire Wait. or keep going? Hold on, let me try to advance the wire here. Hold on. Okay. Laura, Ray. No. Uh, we're definitely... Uh, that's a collateral, probably. Uh, it moves to... All right, then let's leave that there. Let me take my wire from below. Where is it? Go to the floor. Hold on. Wait. <laughs> Ray, can you give me a torque on this? Oh, yeah, just I think you should change the wire now. Mm -hmm. No, wait, PK. I think we're right there. Ray, can I get a torque? I think you guys should change that wire. PK, you don't think the wire can get into your vessel? Are you not, you're not in the same plane, you think? Yeah, see, we're right there. There it goes. I don't know how close here. You have to change the wait, wire. I know, I know, I know. Get, I know. Get, okay, I'm changing the wire. Yeah, get him a field of wire here, guys. He needs a wire that he can torque. See, that's what I was talking about. See the, yeah. neck, the bend in the wire? And I could feel it, that it's going to bend, and then we're going to be having more trouble. Hold on. Let me throw Are you this. Getting Pull your catheter back a little bit here. No, I'm on top. Mm -hmm. huh? No, you're on top. Let's go to a different view, guys, while he gets everything ready. Watch your knees, Ajit. Mm-hmm. You want to pull the catheter back? Yeah, or? pull your catheter back a little bit. I think you crossed, right? You crossed there. Yeah, yeah wait, wait, wait. I just don't, yeah. don't pull anything. What is that? Here. Thank you. Hey, you guys come from above. Hold mm -hmm. on. PK, they cross from above. Uh, if you take an O35 catheter from below, sorry, sorry, sorry. you're probably better off re-entering from below. I mean, getting into the catheter in in the pop area. That would be ideal, yeah. Yeah. Let them they come. come. Because they look like they're really free there. So I agree. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I totally agree. They should come. I was just trying from there. Go on the floor. Oh, no, look at that. That's that's, you know, that's, uh, oh, wow. We, we shall had breakfast. <laughs> we wanted to give you a 3D imaging of how cardiac, I mean. Uh, that looks different than before, yeah, though. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's what I'm saying. Hold on. <coughs> Ray, can you give me a little bit of torque, please? Oh, see, that's why, that means we are in different planes. Yeah, wait, leave it there. Touch, did we touch? No, no, right? no, no, no. Yeah, no. I touched you. 
No, no, you're right. That's you. <laughs> well, that's that's Sorry. the key, guys. This one. So is the plan now your uh, 035 Navy cross from below? What yeah, well, we're gonna, well, we're just going to now just see whether he can – once it – Ray, push my catheter up. I think it seems like it's looking better. Right 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 so, yeah, hold enter on, it on. there. Yeah, get into hold the on, catheter one second. There. Can I see down? You're in the catheter or no? Get in no. the catheter. You got to put it in the catheter, Vishal. One second. You crossed the catheter, dude. Okay, what okay, are you okay. doing? No, but get in no, the, the catheter. No, the catheter is down there, PK. Catheter yeah. down there, PK. Catheter is oh. in the uh, AT. Hold on a second. Let me let me get the catheter. We ballooned this. Please yes. do not cross I'm this. not. Give me a, give me a, a, a um, what is it called? A, 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 um, a command wire. You know, don't usually we're always a talking about in an area that was already ballooned. What are you doing? You told me catheter is down Yeah, there. but I'm saying you don't push with a loop. It's so, killer. you know, it's a, why, why we're arguing here is that you cannot yes. push through a loop in an area that's already been ballooned. So, so that's something you don't do. So I think what we need to do is get this catheter up elegantly. We've definitely crossed from above. And now we need to elegantly go ahead, get this catheter, and then go ahead and, and wire into it. Pushing with a loop is and if you create a flap from above, then, then you, now you're in trouble again. So we just need to be very, very gentle in these kind of cases. I know everybody's excited about crossing, but the idea here would be to now finish the case. PK, maybe this would be a good point to actually to talk about a few tips and tricks on how to re-enter into another access's catheter uh, to avoid well, having to use think, snaring devices. I think, can, can I can you can I see you guys? Yeah. I, I think one. Of, where's my where's my catheter? Oh, there you go. The catheter is so, in the proximal AT. Yeah, we see it now. Uh, yeah. What? Why is it coming back? Can somebody put pressure on it? Please? Yeah, right. I got it. Thank you. So do you what, prefer? One other thing you really mm -hmm. want to be careful is. See, when, when you, you might have a dissection plane here, which you, which you already do, which the question is, did, was the loop of the wire that caused this dissection? See, that's what I'm worried about. See, this, this is all, you know, you, you've done so much work here. Now, you, if you end up with a dissection here, now you're in trouble. There you go. Okay, now, Ray, track it up. So we're gonna, now we're going to have to stent this. Track up the catheter, please. Yeah, I'm coming. So, so it's the same thing. Like, I don't know if you guys saw the subclavian case last, last month, a little higher. Okay, a little higher, please, further up into the mid uh, to the to tibial tuberosity. It's the same thing. We, we track the sheet. Now we shall. Now you try to wire it. So, so I think that the same kind of thing, when you track a catheter through a balloon segment, you're always going to get in trouble. You got to be very, very careful in those kind of things. You have a wire in front and then do it just like with a loop here. So coming from below, even if we shall had created a section plane from above, that's a different story because remember coming from, I'm just going to, oh, there you go. How about there, Vishal? That angle might be more favorable for you. I, I think that, that that is the significance come from below versus above. PK, Vishal, I don't think Vishal has the capability to talk. PK, I, I think no you might have to take a deflectable, you might have to take a deflectable Navicross 035 from below and you might have to Tip. write into it. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe, yeah. maybe, yeah. Yeah. Because I think he's not able to talk. Or, because or of the why don't we do? Why don't we do Kumar's favorite thing? Let's take a micro snare. Let's take a micro snare, and then pull it into this. That's it, Vishal. You got it. Almost. Right there. A little lower. Want me to pull the catheter back, Vishal? Or no, I don't like. It. We could be all right. Or we could take give you an angle. This ah, is an 018. If you straighten can... up, it might fall in. Uh, you know what? Me... Give us a 035 Navi cross. Let me do that. That yeah, may be easier. Probably, uh, yeah. Give us Navi. 03. Yeah, I'm walking this out. He's having <laughs> so much difficulty talking it. So. No, so maybe also doing it in the straight segment of the 18. Oh, may, oh there's may a loop things... on the top. What is I that? Know, yeah, that's, that's just in the collateral. Oh, okay. Yeah. Maybe also going from the straight segment of the AT, not having to worry yeah, about but, so many ang but remember, angulations. But you, you don't want to take the below. catheter across the balloon, to air sub, the wire across the balloon segment. Can I have the 035 Navi cross, guys? So right now, I think we can easily wire from here. Or, or we can take an Aqua Tempo if you want, or a JR4. Any one of those catheters we can go through. Yeah, angle of the cross is good, smooth. I think it'll track right. the. It'll also track the uh, plane better. There we go. Ready? Real? What? Okay, good. Let's go. Are you just worried the snares not may not track? Uh, uh, I'm. I'm just worried about the fact that if we mm -hmm. snare it, we're gonna have to pull it back into the sheath. I and see. If you lose the <laughs> snare, what you gotta now? You gotta watch the loop. Yep. Go. A little higher. A little higher with the. There you go. Now you got it. Now you can just pop it in. Let me torque this catheter way Srini said here. 
There you go. Now try. There you go. Nice job. Nice. All right. So he's going to just push it out if he can. I hope he can. As he put. Oh. <coughs> Piki, can you push your uh, catheter uh, over this wire? I'm far away. Yep, I'm far away. But I think Vishal is going to be able to push it out. We'll just push the catheter yeah. over this wire. Uh huh. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, wait, it's wait. fine. Let it track. It's a clean. So. I think it's better. Uh, remember, I have, it, I have, have an angle from the top. Okay, let's try to push the catheter up. I don't want to kink my. Okay, don't kink it, Vishal. Let's just push the catheter up from below. Is that better? Below. Yeah, coming. leave yeah, the catheter better. there, Vishal. Actually, no, it's almost out. Vishal's doing a great job. Show me down. Oops. You I'm watching these guys. Yeah. All right, there it is, Vishal. PK was trying to make it tough on Vishal with the 0 and 8 cap. Yeah, I see that. I'm just, I'm just, somebody has to. We need an independent assessment. Somebody, somebody in the team has to vouch for Vishal. So I was trying to make it easy for him. You have like an 0 and 8 wire from above, a 1 4 catheter from from below. PK, wire it in. PK is always hard on this. All right, ready? All right. All right okay, we're through and through now. So now, you know, we, uh, Srini, once in a while, I think we, we need to have moderators you, from you outside can, can to know that, how uh, hard our boss is on us. Okay, pulling so the camera. Give me a, a, a Clam mosquito. So what we're gonna do is now we have Safari. Now we're gonna just uh, get us a. Oh, do we have Sterling balloon guys or no? Okay, I'm gonna pull the camera. Yeah, pull that catheter out. So now we talked about that. Uh, what's the plan now? Let me hold pressure. Let me hold pressure. Now feed it to me. Feed it to me, guys. Yeah, yeah. once yeah, yeah. we. I don't know if you can. Okay. Yeah, here it comes. You have to. Yep. Feeding. I'm pulling. I'm pulling. Feeding. All right, get us the shock. We've set it up. One second. Let me just shock get rid of this. Shock wave 6-0. Yeah, I just don't want it to. Is yeah. it coming okay. or no? Yeah, I just got to get rid of this. Yeah, I just want to make sure it's not kink and bleeding at the same time. So I just have to. Move. Okay, advancing wire. Mm -hmm. There you go. Perfect. All right. Now we're going to okay. load the shockwave on here. Now we have through and through. When you cross over, it, we don't care. Say again? Yeah. With the sheep. Yeah, this is a really tough case. You Actually, before that, yeah. okay, before that, can you I give me a, a, a 5015 via track? Wow. So what I'm going to so do now, Srini, we, gave you, is, would you we want, don't do would, the other way around. Yeah, I want to put a micro catheter, swap your sides of the catheter so you can work all the way this way. Um, no, no what I'm going to do is internalize the wire and then push it up into the common femoral. So, yeah. so, so that's what we should do. Yeah, yeah but is, yeah. I want to balloon the track so it doesn't. We don't get yeah, into yeah. any trouble. Sure, sure. Okay. So, yeah. give me a, so what I'm going to do here is just balloon my my reconstitution zone. So this way, then I can do what what uh, what Vishal was saying. Put a micro catheter up, <coughs> and then flip it all the way okay. through and through. Right now, because we have through and through access, and we have what's called as a um, uh, what is it called Safari. There's really, if Ajit holds, uh, if Ajit is taught and I'm taught, there's really nothing we, we can't get through this. Right. So you don't want to give up that through and through access first. So it's, it's, it's good if I can push the shockwave up across, balloon it, uh, and then establish flow. And once I establish flow, I think we can go ahead and, and then do what Vishal said, put a microcatheter in, shockwave the distal, and then do this. So what I want to do is just do one shockwave. And then exchange the wire, and then we will we will be leaving you. Um, I know Srini's got cases. Thank you, Srini. I really appreciate you staying a little bit over time, and then do it. So Ray's working his magic here, getting the wire in, because I, I again I made it difficult, like I did on Vishal, putting it on the soft part of the wire. But uh, I just got to tell you that, that nobody, uh, no, nobody, that you know the the whole aspect of this is is the the thought process of all of us together trying to you know, solve this problem, you know, and it was amazing, you know, getting the anti-grade access right. with just a, a sheetless uh, and then doing one by one the, uh, these things. And I think it's, it's going to work out where we're going to end up with a reasonable result. So let's go now. We're just going to try to shockwave. Srini, uh, <coughs> Vishal is going to uh, hold, we're going to hold taut here and uh, and uh, it just mm -hmm. is going to hold taut up there. Mm -hmm. Okay, what are we uh, shockwaving the, sh the pop and the distal SFA? I think right now just Everything. start with the pop yeah. and distal SFA and then and then internalize the wire. Okay. Put the wire up into the into the common femoral, and then go ahead and. But you uh, don't think the catheter can go across uh, the wire now? No, I that's... just you know you never know, right? So oh. I mean, to me, let's create a plane. We have through and through access. I don't want to give that up yet. How, okay. up, how far do you want to go? On? Uh, give it a dive from above, guys. <clears throat> I just is it, this is the five zero fifteen, right? Wire track. Wire track. All right, ready? <clears throat> go ahead, balloon this area. Okay. So we know that they were luminal till the occlusion point. 
So I think this is the area which now is going to help you a lot. There's some quick balloons in this area. Ten down. So this is an 014 renal balloon for those of you who don't know. Uh, it's a great balloon for the renals. Um, it's a peripheral balloon, comes five, six, and seven. And it's something that I think everybody should have on their shelf for these kind of cases. And now we're just going to balloon this open. And see, you see how it's, it's watermelon seeding out. I think it's a, come down a little lower. Mm -hmm. Shockwave ready, guys? Okay. Nice. 10. When you're down. All right. So, Srini, what do you think Shockwave is going to add to this, Srini? Well, I mean, yeah, considering if, if how, we, this, how this balloon is inflating, yeah. Uh, I, th I think if, we're, if we drink the shockwave too late, as they say, it really, it should get micro <laughs> fractures. That's where the problem will go up and down. Right? That's so often nice. it'll do shockwave anyway. Yeah, I'm I, I didn't want it to go through. Okay. I'm down now. So, I, I think it'll help a little bit. A little more, Mike. Yeah, more that's, more what I that's good. Cool. Yeah, go up there. Yeah, so I think that's why we're going to do it. I mean, yep, that's nice. well expanded down. Yeah. I think you're right. There are certain spots <laughs> okay. that have a lot of calcium, right? Oh, that, that no, spot no. right there. Yep. That's the spot. A little oh, higher. Sorry, I couldn't see higher. it. I mean, I think like Ryan right said, part of the problem yeah. is that, you know, we're dealing sorry. with really extensive calcification in that popliteal artery. So, you know, how much benefit are we going to get? Hopefully All right. Now we're going to go with the shockwave. Mm. So we're going to go quickly with the shockwave. Yeah. And we got a we got a six oh sixty. You know, uh, Srini, I don't know if you observed uh, the inflation now was more, a little more less eccentric than the first yeah. inflation, right? I think this plane is so much better than the previous plane we have because the eccentricity was much less in this plane. So yeah. I think oh, shockwave right. might help now. <laughs> yeah, this is over the wire, yeah. right? No, no, it's monorail. Would yeah, you or, or primarily? Or sorry, go ahead. Or, or the wire is in more of an AP plane, right? You're subintimate, right. but you're in an AP plane. So we're not seeing it. It's not as, uh, it's not accentuated as much, right? That could be the possibility too. So yeah. now we're going to go over the wire here, which is going to allow us to exchange the, uh, the wires as soon as we cross this and do a, for a couple of shock waves. So the wire is not going to be there. We're just going to keep the system so straight. We, we have the wire? No wire. System we don't, straight. We don't yeah. have the wire. Yeah. No wire. Okay. Yeah. System yeah. straight. Yeah. Uh -huh. It's okay. It'll come up. You got to walk with me, come. guys? Yeah. Welcome. Just keep walking. Yeah. Would you all primarily stent here or DCB and spot stent? Or what do you think? I think I would primarily stand here. We still don't have Wires out? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. no, I think we're going to have to. Yeah, so now you can see even yeah. with the 5 0, look, <clears> look, look at the struggle. Even with wow. the 5 0, guys. Wow. Rail, pull the wire, guys, both yep. of you? Rail. Really pull the wire hard? Uh -huh. okay. He has wow. the wire on the other end, so don't worry about it. It's just pull. Okay. Pull. Pulling yeah. here, yeah. Wow. See, this is why Karthik, I didn't want rock. to lose. <clears throat> you see? That's I think rock. we should go up here. Let's yeah. go up. This is why I didn't want to lose the through and through wire, brother. Yeah. Go forward. Get, go up. So even with the through and through wire, we can't get this up. Yeah. Okay. Forward. Go. Good. Mm hmm That's quite impressive. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, stored it. This angle, I mean, the alignment looks so much better, though, like uh, Karthik yeah. and Raman. Right, guys? I mean, really just incredible. It's just you've got this eccentric calcification, even though we're subintimal, probably. It's we tough to... One more, of course. Some people yeah. have six, done six, laser six, here. Six, with, down to four. I know Jay Matthews talks about lasering, even when he's in the subintimal plane. I've, I've never done that. I, I, but, I don't know, Srini. I, okay, I don't four. think laser in my hands. I don't know, Ajit, what your thoughts are. More. Does laser uh -huh. work on calcium for four. you guys? No, I, uh, I, that's no, what I'm saying. Definitely not. Yeah. I have I have never I had received success with laser and calcium PK. Yeah, I, I've only used it a few times to be honest, but it hasn't really. Yeah, you know calcium. why? Because the coronary guys, uh, you know, including myself and Vishal and Raman, we we use it in calcium in the coronaries and 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 and, and Karthik. Well, and to me, I've never I've never been impressed with the results in calcium. <coughs> but SS, our you know our director of our yeah, lab and in, interventional cardiology, Hold swears on. by it. Obviously, Rhoda is is, is is number one there, but Flora. Oh, no, I'm sorry. But yeah. sometimes what happens is when you have a focal lesion, Rail you have guys, to pull break the wire, to the... guys, yeah. pull it hard. Hold on, let yeah. me put on the mosquito. Wait, 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 wait. It has it has a much more well-defined uh, niche exactly. in in the, in the coronary realm Go. for the uncrossable lesion where you can't get your your delivery device, your <laughs> exactly. wire, whatever you need across. So when you have a, you know, right, yeah. non-dilatable focal okay, let's lesion. Go up here now. 
you can actually do a laser blast it yeah. to create a lumen and then you're right take smaller yeah. caliber balloons and then you yeah crank it as a primary uh attractive device i don't think uh, i have had any success but when i couldn't cross again take a smaller laser device blast it and then upgrade it to you know a rotor right. or something it helps yeah but i've never primarily it. had a success in calcium and laser six six and they apparently the real, it real took real off a hundred yeah. pounds from the tank right and now yeah. so now it's a hundred pounds less now it's just 600 pounds mm -hmm. and it's a rolling device <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, I mean, um, you know, Ajit told me he goes to the OR on Saturdays to work out with the laser machine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wheel it up and down the hospital. He told, he, told me he doesn't have to pay for gym membership. No, it's, the laser machine. It's, it's like Karthik and uh, uh, Srini's uh, Tesla. You have to charge it for the what it works. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> What's your well, uh, atherectomy of choice for whole, calcium whole then? Do you have like a device that you prefer in it? One second, one second, one second. Calcium, you know, that's a great, that's a great point. Pull hard, guys. I am. I, am, I have going. mosquito on there it. There it goes. So. Come on. A I think bit calcium, it also depends on how, if you want to stratify it, right? Are you dealing with mild calcium, okay, moderate let's go up here. calcium, yeah. severe calcium? Yeah. Because and also whether you're, in, whether, whether you're luminal or, or subendomal, it definitely changes the, uh, the you know, algorithm after, there. After doing uh, a lot of these for over now 20 years, I, I can tell you that severe calcium, my, my answer is Dr. Rao. <laughs> Dr. Rao is going to direct to me and we'll, we'll do a nice <laughs> bypass and we'll get a patency rate of five year of 90%. I'm happy right. with that. Yeah, that's true. It's true. Scalpel it, still you know, works. We do all this stuff. And it does. So like this is a lady who doesn't have an option. You got to do it again. Let's go to 80. Yeah, we did. So we got to really expand this. We so did. the question is, do you think you're in six, lumen in there and we can we change yeah, the wire now? I think we can. No, I would probably go until 15 or something and then change. No, the wire. my wire is all trash. So if you've crossed it, I would like to change the wire on this. Yeah. Otherwise, we'll we have to pull we it out this way. <clears throat> yeah, exactly. Yeah, just what probably go up to like 15 or something and then take it out. Well, it's very hard to push, brother. I'm telling yeah, you. Yeah, it, it is. Trust me. The, yeah. And the soft okay. end of the wire is. Yep. I'm just yeah. scared. All right, down. Now let's take a DSA from above just to see <clears throat> where we are. Okay, DSA sure. inject. Yeah, and we'll go until at least until 20. I agree with yeah, you. Yeah, I have to go because push there are planes more. from below. I do agree with you. There are planes from below. All right, good. Yeah, we're going to go okay. up more. See, I agree with you. We've got to go up to at least 15. At least All right. 15. All right, <laughs> one more, Flora. Let me see if this goes up. Yeah, just hold, pull, pull both what? sides of the wire and then push, I guess. Yeah. I know it's not easy, but easy to say sitting here, but. No, we have the best seats right now. These are the best. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Go up here. We we can change the focus. I don't want to be in that room. <laughs> Vishal, oh Vishal has to give surgery to that wrist. More or oh, my God. So, PK, oh, no. what's, uh, what's your next step here after this? You're going to balloon to six. What size supera? How are you going to size this? Well, what I'm, what I'm concerned about now, uh, uh, Srini, is that we have through and through access and are having so much trouble pushing the shockwave up. So now right. the question becomes is how are we going to deal with that common femoral? So yeah, obviously right. get a new shockwave Eight. balloon um, and, then, and then try to get the shockwave up. I, I, I just don't think it's going to go. PK, if if, you I, use if I put a stent here, Srini, the problem is going to become, okay, well, God forbid the shockwave will it track up through the stent. I don't know. Keep asking, am I okay? <clears throat> the way I live, in pain. PK, you're going to exchange it to a uh, steel core wire, like to get more stiffness? Might, yeah. we might. I mean, down. Okay. All right, let's walk. I think we should walk this out, go with another catheter, and then change the wire, and then try with a new balloon. I think you're there anyways, right? You're it's, there. It's, yeah. She's having pain when I push, so we're, we're going to leave the wire as is, and I'm just going to track the shockwave out. You got the wire training? Yep. I mean, Ajit? Yep. Okay, Flora? Okay, here Flora. it comes. If you have more, just probably shockwave it again then. Yeah, finish. Finish, finish the whole. Yeah, yeah, I just want to get it out of her body. She's having a lot of pain. Okay, so now give me a, uh, a 018. 035. Um, Navicross? Uh, no, um, a Navicross, yes, exactly. 035 Navicross, actually. 035, yeah. Yep, it'll be easier. So now we're going to just take, let's take a DSA while we're here, guys. Let me see yeah. the thing. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Careful, sir. We got Jip. So the worry here is rupture, as mm. we all talked. My question was that rupture right at that popliteal area. It was like a... I think we're okay. Look at the amount of recoil. Obviously, a lot of recoil, so we're going to have to really mm -hmm. balloon this open. Right this so point. what I may do now is put an 035 wire up and take an 035 balloon. Uh, and then, oh boy, so we're going to have to That's cut this way. Yeah, we're going to have to cut yeah, it yeah. here. It's trash. We're going to have to cut it all the way here. So we're dealing with the uh, wire issues now, as you can imagine. 
Cut it right at the black point. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh. I'm not cutting. Wow. No, no, no. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta cut. You gotta cut higher because otherwise you're gonna bend it. You can't put it in. Okay. Uh, get, get, uh, get a couple of force of you. I think you could probably get away with a relatively short stent, right? Most of it looks, looks like, like it, it opened up. But we also yeah. haven't seen that 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 popliteal lesion as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can see a lot of dissection next to the. Uh, There's no yeah, question. Calcified we, segment. No question. We have to stent this. Yeah. No. Okay. Okay. Just keep the system straight, yeah. boys. Yeah. Yeah. Show me down, Michelle. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Thanks. Oh, wow. Thank God. You got it or no? No. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, oh, I don't know about it. To get my wire, I still don't have my wire. Okay, well, you, you, you can pull out oh, the wire. You can pull out the wire. You yeah. pull out the wire. I'm too. pulling it yeah, up from yeah, above? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I think so, right? You were yeah, right we're, yeah, still, yeah, we're yeah, definitely yeah. cross. Okay, let's take a. You want a Spartacore? You want an old Spartacore now? Spartacore. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Now let's mm -hmm. save that. So we're going to put a Spartacore up into the, into, the, into the common femoral. And the question here for Ajit is mm -hmm. should we put it into the graft or should we. Does it matter? I will put it uh, into the graft. Graft, yeah. Okay. Because so. that's where the inflow is. You know, yeah. the, the actual then native vessel doesn't the matter. Wave, yeah, the the tip of the shock wave is definitely going to project a little bit into the graft. Okay. Mm -hmm. So so again, since we ballooned it, now we have got flow. I wanna I wanna sign off, and I know Srini's got work. So uh, and so does Ajit. So the question is, let's just tell the audience the plan. Um, we are now gonna place this inside the graft if we can, right? Uh, that's the lesion of the cow. Oh boy, it's not crossing. Nice. Next problem. <laughs> oh my god. Puff again. Puff again and see. Oh All right, let me let me go over here. Hold on, let me give him a roadmap. Uh, you ready? Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, it's an occlusion. Is there a, uh, I don't know. All right, let's go. No. There you go. Nice. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> I was redirecting the one. Oh, good. There you okay. Go. Nice. Okay. So now, Ajit, um, yeah. let's see. We're in the graft. Are we in the graft? Yeah, we're in the yeah. graft. Looks like it. Yeah, push it yeah. up. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we're in the graft. Now you're okay. That's enough. So now we're all the way here. So now, what do you guys want to do? So let, let me let's walk this out, by you. One more shock wave. Let me take a photo of the CFA. Another shock wave. I mean, I think we. Yeah, one more shock wave of the CFA. Yeah, shock wave and then stent distal and. All right, get us a new shock wave. Six o. They want to go yeah, with the buy track for that uh, that uh, CFA yeah, first six, so we have to, take to a six, open so it up so to right. allow the passage. Well, remember the, old, the old three five catheter cross, Roman. Yeah, so it may go. Yeah. I think, yeah, it it go. Go. You know? I think it's more and more of a bend in the wire and everything. So, so give so us this is the real million dollar question: is the pop the deal? How far and uh, how much? Let's see, no perf. At least we know that. A little bit All of right. a plane. That's okay. Yeah, yeah, I mean. Okay. Yeah. So now I guess the dis the discussion is gonna be what's what. You wanna stent this first, Rini? What do you what are your thoughts, Ajit? No. I would stent the whole thing. Would point. you stent it first before no. you shockwave or after? Oh no, I would no. shockwave. Shockwave. The Top. distal part yeah, then, whatever uh, we didn't do before. And then, Dorado, and then just Okay. Yeah. 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 For sure. Yeah, I would Shock. shockwave first and stent All right, at the end. So I'm gonna you don't do want your stent not to expand and then you can't track totally anything agree. and exactly. gonna, yeah. end up in a bad situation. That's a six oh yeah. Yep. Hundred percent. That's yep. a five oh you have to get. All right, let's just shockwave the common femoral. So what we do is shockwave, you DCB the common femoral, and then you do whatever this So this is a good question. Um, I mean, uh, 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 Srini and Ajit, <clears throat> is there, does DCB provide any it's added value in the common femoral? Uh, I mean, I think so. I yeah. think, uh, you know, there's definitely some data that supports it. So I would think shockwave and a DCB would get, be a good option if it expands right. well. That's it. Okay. Uh, Srini, any thoughts? Yeah, no, I would definitely shockwave and DCB and try not to scaffold it if you can. I mean, right. I know there's a RCT that's taking place now with a DCB, stent, but um, ideally, if we can try not to stent that area across the joint, it would be ideal. And I think DCB works here. Too. Yeah. You're reeling me? Can we attach it? I think that, that, that would be the, the best option. I think, I, think, I think we can all agree. No, we can uh, 
IVL for the calcium uh, and DCB without okay. scaffolding. Okay. Nothing would be real, ideal real. for her. And for yeah, her, we're not, I'm again, we're not, we're not going for walk. perfection here. We just yeah. want this vest to be a little bit oh, more open than it, it currently is. Yeah. No, 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 I'll have the one. Okay. Okay. And especially at having a stent here would add an you know, extra layer an of extra complexity level of if, yeah, if she ever exactly. needed surgery. Exactly. Getting stuck here. <laughs> Hold on, let me give him real. Okay. This is what I told you. The, uh, the through and through is so important. <sighs> Okay. One down, two more to go. I think it should go now. I hope I'm praying. If not, we can balloon this segment again. Oh. Thankfully, you have that. that rail. I mean, that's, No, uh, we gave up the rail now. We gave up the rail, yeah. Yeah. Uh, not going, boys. Oh, Might have to shockwave, let's shockwave go. distal yep. first. Yeah. One second. Let's prep. This is 50-50? 50-50, yeah. All right, so I guess we'll sign. Well, should we, we sign off? It's an hour and a half, Srini. I don't want to hold you. So, so thank you. I want to thank you on on, on being our guest moderator here. Obviously, your your thoughts and uh, your suggestions are so appreciated, not only by us but by the audience. So thank you very much, man. I really really appreciate it. And uh, thank you guys for so you can sign off. And you know, again, I'll, uh, any comments that come through, Damon, I will let you, you know, uh, and we'll take it from there. Hold on. All right, so thank you uh, guys. Appreciate it. It was, a, it was honored to be part of this. Okay, press on. Thank, thank you, Dr. Mullah. Appreciate Thanks it. Thank you so much for coming in. Um, again, so we're going to wrap this case. Uh, thank you, Dr. Krishnan, Dr. Kapoor, Dr. Rao, um, for an exciting case. I think uh, there's a lot of points. I think this case uh, added, and uh, I think uh, it's the first time we have done something like this from Peel. So I think it's an interesting case. So, so, so Karthi, we're what we're going to do? I just want to tell everybody, like, I think mine, me, me and Ajit and uh, Vishal are going to. Try to get this to the to the common femoral. Fix it. Once we fix it in the common femoral, oh, one second, let it, uh, let hopefully Float. you know this thing goes. Pull yeah. it back so I can get some speed, and then we'll go forward. <laughs> wow, look at that. Yeah. And then and then and then if if we can do it in one setting, we will. If not, I think we might have to come try to come up and over the next time and do it there. No, it's not going. Okay. We're so that's the, that's the idea. And then just do DCV. I mean, l l okay, we'll walk this out. You so thank you again. Thank we'll you. Hit it on uh, the way out. Exactly. So we're going to wrap up this case. I yeah. think uh, Dr. Krishnan is going to show the results, final results of this case, uh, which I'm hopefully right is going here. to be a beautiful results. So um, thank you so much, everybody.